Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of City Zilla Place here in the beautiful city of Zillawood. And this is a City Skyline series for all you new people, where I actually come out with new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And so let's go ahead and dive in. In this episode, we are going to be building out a amusement park, and it's actually going to be pretty exciting. And kind of playing around with it a little bit, and it's definitely a little challenging. So we're going to try to tackle a couple things. I was thinking this plot of land would be good. I didn't want to just do a standard amusement park. I wanted to really kind of do something like Disney World almost, where we intertwine a bunch of the city parks. And I thought it would be really cool. And so we're going to start off by purchasing the square. And we're going to jump in. And so the first thing we want to start off with is the road layout. And so there's a couple a couple different avenues that we could take. What I was thinking is extending this road out and then having it curve up and then creating this high turning this highway into like a boulevard and having it go over the freeway and then having this road cut across as well. Um, one of the things we're really gonna have to pay attention to with this is traffic, especially since we're gonna probably end up putting some hotels and some more tourism and leisure and stuff and probably creating another like city boardwalk area like this. Um, I really want to try to go for that that feel of being at just a huge amusement park where there's hotels and ideally a family could come and stay on property and go to the amusement park or even camp. And, and so that's what we're going to try to aim for. And so let's look at our roads. I ended up getting some of these really big boulevard roads. I think they're by, yeah, they're they're by Bad Peanut, I'm pretty sure, and um, they look really awesome. They're basically two one-way roads, and it's one, two, three, four, so it's two one-way six-lane roads, but it's got this nice little grass area in the middle with lights, and, and I think it just looks really good. I wanted to put them into this city, but I wasn't really sure where, and so I think this would be a good spot for it, and so one of the things I want to do first is try to find our freeway crossings. Okay, so I was thinking this area right here would be good for our first main freeway crossing. And you know what? Backtrack a little bit. I think because we don't want just one, it might be smart if we did like a frontage road. I think that would be good. Yeah, because in that way, it would actually split up the traffic trying to get on the freeway and off the freeway. And I think it would be really good rather than having, you know, two or three or however many entrances we decide to do. Um, now we can just put them onto this road. And even though a lot of times this kind of setup still does generate traffic, it kind of gives us a little more room to play around with rather than just going back and possibly deleting entrances or exits based off of the traffic levels. And so I really like this. You see this in real cities a lot. Um, in Las Vegas, they have, on the strip area, they have huge frontage roads like this. And it's just a way to separate the traffic, especially in high volume areas where where you know a lot of people are going to be getting on and off the freeway. I think this is going to work out great. We shall see, though. And there we go. And then, so there's our basic little frontage road. I'm probably going to end up turning it into a two-lane road. Um, but as we build out the city, we'll... We'll kind of see how it looks. And so let's go back here. And so we can maybe cut it across, do like a little. I think that would be good. I'm going to try to get this straight. And there we go. And then, so I want to have it terminate right here. So I think like right there, and then we'll have it curve in. And 
Now let's work on these other roads. And so we want to provide freeway access and we also I'm thinking just a nice six lane road. Yeah, with decorative trees, I think that would be good. We don't really need to focus on bikes over here as much. I don't know if having these as bike lanes would be super So what I'm thinking is by putting it like this, we hopefully should be able to split up the traffic for this area enough to where it won't be as bad. But I guess we'll see. That's, I mean, the beauty of this game is a lot of it is just trying things out and seeing what works. Um, and I'm, I, designing cities is very much the same. You know, city planning is very much theory based. And so they, a lot of stuff we know and, and has been working for a long time, but a lot of it is, you know, just a city planner trying to solve a specific problem. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And so. I think that's one of the greatest things about this game is it really allows us the opportunity to kind of try things and see if it works. And here we go. And then what I was thinking is probably having this terminate somewhere like right there. I want it to be 90 degree. So maybe we'll have it go like right there. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. It's definitely a little more squared off than I was initially thinking, but I think it's going to make it a little easier for us to... Maybe I'll round these edges a little more. I think that would look good. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Now it gives it a little, little bit of a cleaner look. And then, so let's go ahead in here. And so what I want to do, you know, I think this is probably going to be too close. Maybe we could have the, I think we're going to put this little frontage road going across just to give it a little more space. And there we go. That looks a little cleaner and our transition is a little smoother. I think that would be good. Um, whether or not the city would actually build a huge bridge like this is up for question, but I mean, for this area, um, I could see them maybe doing it just because this is going to be a huge tourism area. It's going to be really good for the city. And so let's go ahead and start off by making these ramps. And there you go, that actually came out really good. I was uh, kind of expecting to have to use Move It Mod a little bit to 
line them up a little bit, but man, that um, I think doing the <clears throat> the little frontage road first allowed it the right amount of space to be able to make these really clean. And so now, even though these are really close to each other, because it's on a frontage road, it's not going to affect the traffic as much. And then I think what we're going to do, I was kind of thinking about it, I think it would be smart. We're going to come in here and upgrade these to two lane roads. And so the reason I'm doing the whole thing is because um, it would be really hard to do like a proper lane mathematics here, just because the entrances are so close to each other. And so if I were to do a single lane here and then add a second lane right here, this would come off and I would need to add a third lane right here. And it would just end up looking really weird. If they were farther apart, then it definitely would be the way to go. But because they are so close, we kind of get stuck into this. And so now we're just going to clean it up, make it look good. Because I did that um, two lane road, it is a little weird. I'm going to go through and upgrade the three lane road though too, at two, uh, with sound barriers. Because this would be, you know, like a family entertainment area and we would want the free to have sound barriers. And there we go. So now all of it's got sound barriers. And then let's just come in through here and see if we can clean up any of these. I mean, that looks pretty good. This looks all right. It is a little steep, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to really mess with that a whole lot. Entrances look good. There's no pillars in the way. This one looks a little weird. But it looks generally good. No, this one looks kind of weird. And there we go. Just make it a little more realistic rather than a huge drop off. Same with this one. That's a little better. It's more of a even great and that's really what we're going for here and now i'm going to go into node controller and just widen these up a little bit you definitely want to be careful with this because a lot of times you can get little pixel glitches while doing this but if you do encounter an issue issue you can actually just go in and remove nodes and then it smoothens it out you see how that just did that it's great one of the things it kind of does though is it just w extends it and so just gotta go in clean it up And there you go, just makes it a nice swooping turn. And you see how this one's the same, so I can just come in here. And... Yeah, it tucked it too close to the road, so we'd want to go back in and add that back. Probably right, just going to redo that road. It's one thing with messing with the, the nodes a lot, you can you can either fix your problem or create more problems. And so definitely gotta pay attention to it. I mean that looks okay. It's a little steeper than I was hoping, but let's go back into node controller and see if it messes us up again. I don't know, that I think that's definitely better. It's kinda of weird, it's uh Amazing. I'm probably gonna have to. Oh, there you go. That looks pretty good. But I think that looks really good. We uh, used no controller on them all to open them up. I didn't. I don't think I did this side. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick.
And there you go. It just opens it up, makes it a little wider and makes it a little easier for people. And so kind of like what I was saying before, it does, it does present a little bit of an issue us having this two lane road down the middle, but um, we'll have to kind of see how traffic affects it over time. And what I'm hoping is that it's going to end up being okay, but we shall see. So we're going to find like a nice kind of tall tree to put in the middle. Bumper. I think maybe those pine trees. So I think putting these big trees in the middle might be interesting. Yeah, I think that would be cool. Kind of change it up a little bit. I've been kind of using the same trees throughout the whole city. I think for this area it would be to kind of just change it up. I haven't used any of these really tall trees yet. I think that looks really cool. It's kind of like a windbreak almost uh, along the freeway. We'll probably end up putting them on the inside too, just to kind of cover the freeway. But we'll actually do that. Because we would want to. Oh, there you go. And so now people who are going to the amusement park don't have to. Don't have to see the freeway as much. It's kind of hidden a little bit. The trees, because they're so tall, you still would see them a little bit, but. And so let's go ahead and start painting these park areas. And so I think what we're going to do is use this one down here as like a city park boardwalk area. So this is going to be where all of our hotels are. It's going to be where uh, just nice features, you know, you come with your family and maybe you're not going to the theme park that day. You're just going to hang up, hang out by the pool. And then right across from that, we're going to put our main park. This would be like the Magic Kingdom of Zilla World. I think that's pretty good. That's a decent size. And then I want to do like a camping area right here. And I think that would be good. It's definitely something I remember going to Walt Disney World and seeing a little camping area. And I thought it was so cool. And I think we would even, we'll even put some on the other side too. Either that or we'll extend the... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know, we'll put it over here too. Because I think um, it'd be nice to go camping like on the water. And then this big area is actually going to be our zoo. Um, zoos take up a lot of space, and in real life, they are huge, like hundreds of acres. And so I think it would be fair to say that the largest part of this park would be the animal park. And so. I think we're going to follow that. We'll probably do like tunnels over here. That'd be good. And there we go. And then we'll probably end up putting in some more commercial on that side. But then so let's come down here. And so we did the, the park, but now we need to paint districts. And so we'll do that. We'll paint that guy because we're going to do that tourism and leisure. Then we're just going to paint the rest as just one. It's all part of the park. And there we go. And then we will paint that. Just because I think it'd be funny. And we'll do Altzilla World. It's kind of cheesy, but I think it'd be fun. And so let's start off by looking at this boardwalk area. So we know we're going to get a ton of traffic. And so it would be smart to do some of these bigger roads, probably avenues. I think that would be fair. And so maybe we'll come down here. This right here. And then maybe we'll do like a roundabout at the end. I think that would look good. And then this could be like our main area. Maybe we'll do a couple of those, and so I think that would actually look good. I think that would be good. And then we will just utilize these other areas as park space, and yeah, I think um, let's go ahead and connect these up to
Maybe we won't. We'll, um... No, I think we'll connect them. I think that would look cool. So we'll come in here. And we'll do that. We'll delete all these guys. And I left the space because we still want to get something of like a like a park boardwalk area in here without having just a ton of hotels everywhere. And so I think that would be good. And so we want to get parking in here. I'm just going to do these small guys. I think we'll do a big one over here. And we'll do some of these smaller ones. Do one right there. Right there. I think that's probably good. And so let's go ahead and get water over here. I think it might be nice to do um, like some hotels down that main boardwalk too. Um, I don't think we're going to have any of the entrances on that. So I think that would actually be interesting for us to do. So maybe let's... Yeah, there you go. And then so what I want to do is turn this into the tourism district. Actually, maybe we'll turn this into leisure since it's more of a boardwalk. And we'll turn this into the tourism district. We'll kind of see how it goes. We can always change it around. And so one of the things I wanted to do with this was create a monorail system. And so what I think we'll do is we'll probably... Do one on that side, but then we'll come up here, do one right there. And there we go. I think that's pretty good. I definitely wish we had one stop, even just like right there in the middle, but maybe if we just had it come up here and then turn around, we could probably do that. Yeah, there you go. I think that works well, and then it, it preserves a lot of the zoning around this area, and that's really what I was worried about was if we put one in, we were going to mess up the zoning. And so let's go ahead and put in the lines real quick. I think that's pretty good. I didn't want to put that second line in there because it was going to take the same station. And so I really didn't want to do that. I, I definitely could have just deleted one, but maybe I can grab it. No, I could have started the line there. And so... I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to start the line on this side. Let's see if it does it. Yeah, it did it. So that'll work. And there we go. And so now we have access all the way around. And so let's go ahead and start placing these parks in. And so we already have the little boardwalk district right here. And so I think it would be smart to just start with that. And so we are going to put in our entrance right there. And... 
we are going to build some paths. I don't think I'm going to charge for this one. And so I'm just going to connect it up to the roads. Um, the key for me was just uh, being able to place park asset, assets. And so I think this is going to be good. Um, you could also charge for it. I don't. There's, there's not an issue with charging for it. I just don't really in this setting. This would be like the hotel district. And so if you were to be charged just to kind of enjoy the hotel's amenities, I think it would be really weird. And so could do one of these piers, but I just don't think it's going to fit in with our little, with our river. Our river's a little too high up. And so I'm not going to, I'm not going to place any of them. The key for me was having the gazebos. So I just think they're really nice. And then just the park assets. So people who are maybe staying at one of the hotels would have be able to come out and enjoy the nature as well. You know, they're, they're visiting our city. And so the goal would be to maybe convince them to move here for some reason or whatever. And so I think that would be good. And so we're going to come in here and I'm just going to just zone up pretty much everything that's not on the, on the roundabouts or the main road. We honestly could do the roundabouts here too. I think it would definitely fit in to zone the roundabouts. I just know that it messes with traffic a whole lot. Zoning roundabouts is not normally good, and so I think we'll even I think we're gonna zone the street too. Yeah, I think that would be good. And there we go. I think that's a good start. I think we ended up doing a leisure area over here, and so. Maybe we'll change that back. Then I want to kind of decorate up these uh, roundabouts. So I think this would be good. I like the color. I think that looks pretty good. I just want to come in and add in some of the rocks. There you go. I think that looks great. And so really is just left up to what gets zoned here. And so what what appears over here. So we can play with it and see. I think this would be good over here. You know, right off the ramp. Then over here. And these will be our hotels. I think the hotels would actually look nicer down here. They really, we'll see. So I think the leisure has a little more traffic, and so maybe we'll we'll switch this around and put the leisure in the middle. I think that would be good. So we'll put leisure in here and then tourism over here, just because I think if you came with a family, you'd want to be in this area versus on this main street, whereas this could kind of be like the boardwalk. And so having a bunch of bars and stuff there would kind of fit a little better. And so let's go ahead and start with our parks. We're going to start off with the amusement park. This is our main guy. And so let's go ahead and plop him right next to our monorail station. And then we just want to do some side gates. Side gate right there. 
we'll come over here and put a side gate. And then we'll come up here and put a side gate. I think that's good. And then the key here, I want to create lands. And so I think what we're going to do is circles. I think they would look good. Maybe we'll do bigger circles. Yeah, there you go. I think because then we could create little lands almost like uh, I'll use my pipe, sorry. So, and so I want one there, one there, over here, over there, and over there. And then we'll just connect this up. The reason I did this is because uh, I think having lands is really cool in amusement parks. When playing a game like this, and so. And it creates like little zones, you know. And so what I want to do is create like a little entrance area. So we'll probably do that. And then I think I'm just going to cut this one all the way across. Probably fix this. And so what I'm thinking is I want to create like a really like grand entrance with a bunch of the little buildings and if we had little shops and stuff, I'd probably do that. But I think what we'll do is we'll add a couple of these plazas right off the get. And then we'll come in here and we'll do a couple souvenir shops. Just because a lot of times when you come into places like this, there's like a little main street. And so I want to try to go for that vibe. of the town. Their mere existence transformed the landscape and made a lasting impact on our world. It's that legacy that Dino Oil is proud to continue by using their eons old dead bone booth to fuel your five door wagon, making it the oldest form of recycling there is. Dino Oil, embrace the power of bones. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. And then what I want to do is just kind of create some nice little areas in here. It would just be where you could go into the grass, maybe. I think that would be good. And then we'll just plop down some trees to make this area look nice and welcoming. I want to do big trees. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. Like, look at that. So you could come and kind of relax in the shade, maybe give the kids some, a little break. Put some seats in there, little benches. I think that looks pretty good. Is it perfect? No, but it's a game, and so... I think that looks really good, though. That's a really cool entrance. And so you'd come in, and there'd be these two huge plazas, and then you'd come down, and there'd be all these shops, and, like, this plaza, and this little gaming section. It'd just be kind of where you started, and that's, that's kind of how places like this operate, and so... 
Unfortunately, we do have to wait for a lot to unlock, and so I think what we'll do is just uh, start this off. And then probably... Have to just come back to it. So we got our cafe. I think the only ride we have is the carousel. Pop down the carousel, and then we'll do another little plaza. We'll do a little cafe on the side. Did I get the cafe in here? I don't think I did. I definitely didn't. Well, that looks good. And then this looks okay over here. Without having everything unlocked, it's definitely a little bit of a challenge, but... The goal would just be to create zones, and so... A couple of restrooms over here. I think, I mean, this looks really good for our first level zone, and so I want to wait for a couple more rides. And so let's go ahead and dive over here. I want to unpause all this, just because otherwise we're going to be waiting for a while. So let's see if anything even builds out. <clears throat> I'm hoping that the electricity will be... I'm hoping that it connects. It might not, so I'm just going to connect it. And there we go. I think we got all preliminarily connected the metro stations are not connected a lot of this we're just gonna have to come back through and delete until it all kind of connects on its own Would definitely not be safe to have those run through here. These are gonna expand though once we let's so we'll go ahead and start off on our nature preserve first, because then we can get some of our some of our electricity over here. So there we go, we unlocked it, and then let's see, so main gate, nature preserve main gate, small, and I want to put in a small gate over here, and then let's, so I want to go for like a loop. So I'm thinking like camping when, when you have something like this. Um, so they're normally loops. You would have to make some sort of room for like RVs and stuff. And, so, and then ways for them to get in and come out. I think that's pretty good. And so let's just go in here and we'll just create little uh, in between roads. Okay, so it looks like we got our first unlock for the amusement area. Nice, we can get a couple more rides in. We got rotating teacups and the piggy train. 
And so let's go back over here. And I think we're going to, because we got the carousel in here and everything. I think this is going to end up being like our, uh, our children's area. And so let's see where we can go with this. Maybe we'll put it over here. I think that would be good. So we'll put the piggy train, maybe we'll put the piggy train on the inside. No, I want it to be kind of separated. And so we'll go over there and then let's see, maybe we can put the teacups right here. We'll have two of them, kind of, we'll just pretend that they're a little different. Oh, they are different colors. And then we got the piggy train. Oh, that's like a little kitty roller coaster. There are little piggies. That's adorable. It'd be cool if you could like adjust the track to make it a little bigger. But I think that looks really good. And so I want to kind of extend out this little guy. I mean, that looks better because they change in size every time you can kind of cycle through them but um, I think it's okay I think that looks pretty good for our first two areas we just got to wait for it to unlock again and so let's go ahead and look at it real quick park main area let's look at our policies and stuff for it so animal ethics advertising campaign obviously to have more visitors okay 20% more visitors and we're gonna make this our main park and then we're going to do fireworks every night and visitors can see the park at night on special tours. Okay, so we'll do that. Amusement park buildings are maintained super well, causing them to be even more fun than normal. I think that's great. And then for the nature preserve ones, we'll do those as well, the animal ethics and stuff. Um, and so I think that's good. We're definitely having some power issues down this middle track. See if we can just put in a couple little power boxes. Yeah, there you go. Just a couple little power boxes did the trick. And we just need to hook this guy up. And we're going to come through and delete the power lines. That's why I'm not really paying too much attention to them at the moment because as we expand out, they uh, will actually go through and and place them how we want to and so we're going to go back to this nature reserve park and so i created all these little spaces to be able to put like the, the little campsite and then the campfire and then some tents for each of them and so ideally a family could come and rent out a little space and there you go now it's created like a nice little area for it and so let's come in here and so we'll do recycle garbage and I think that's pretty much the only one for this area. We're going to ramp up the price for all of these since this would definitely be an expensive destination for people. And it looks like we're already starting to get a little bit of hold up here. And so I want to set up these interchanges. I think that's about it. And it was to be expected for these areas. This already looks really cool though. This is coming in really well. 
I think we'll probably end up putting trees in here too. And so let's move on to the next one. <clears throat> let's come up here and do our zoo. And so I want the main entrance to be on this main road right next to the monorail. And then let's put in some small side gates. We'll do one over here. We'll do one over there. We'll do one over here as well. We'll even do one right there. This is going to be the big park, and so... Oh nice, we already got the next unlock for our camping area, so 10 camping sites and viewing decks. You know what, I think we were going to do the tent camping across the way too. Did we keep that there? Yeah, I think we did. So we'll actually create a side gate over here. So nature preserve side gate. And then let's go in here. And so let's do the viewing decks over here. And then some of the campsites on the inside. And so we'll come in back in here and kind of follow the same pattern. These will be bigger. These will be like the premium sites. Yeah, I think that would be good. And then we will put like one of these on almost all of them, I think. These would be where people rented out like the entire little area. And so, yeah, I think that would be great. And so a whole party could come and they even got these little viewing decks. And this would just be really cool. So let's come back in here. And Copy these and make sure anarchy is on. And there we go. There's a little bit of trees on the mountain side that looks. Eh, it doesn't look bad. And so now we have premium camping across the street. And so this one's this is still part of the same park, right? Nature Reserve Side Gate. Zilla Kingdom. Zilla Animal Kingdom. There you go. Pretty sure this should still. Yeah, there you go. So I think that's great. And so we should get a ton of people going here. And so we're just about getting it going. And we definitely want to remove those power lines. Let's start on the zoo portion. So I want to create a little entrance over here as well. And so I think we're going to do
think that would look cool. It's kind of like an entrance. Really high up. Yeah, there you go, and I just need to lower this down. And then you would kind of climb up. I think that would be cool. So you're coming in through this like valley and you see all these little plazas and everything. And this that would be just a really cool entrance. Yeah, there you go. And then you come up here and you're just coming into our Zilla Kingdom Animal Park. And so let's see what we can place first. Let's go ahead and do like a little cafe eating area right here. And so we'll do a couple of zoo cafes. And then we'll do the souvenir shop. But you always see these near the front. And we'll do a couple of restrooms. And then maybe we'll put our first first guy over here. I think that would probably be good. Yeah, I think that would be great. And there we go. And then so we got our first little area. Need some water. And so now, because this is connected, I can delete the... can delete the... Slowly but surely, it's all connecting. And so let's see what else we got. So we got the birdhouse. So I think the birdhouse right here would look really cool. I think that looks good. And then we'll put in some foliage. And then I want to put in a couple trees over here. I think we'll go for the colored trees. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks good. And then we will these guys in around so this would just be i mean a really cool entrance to walk into you're kind of down and walk in you see all these trees and then you walk up and you got the little shopping mall the souvenirs and the restaurants and then the moose and reindeer enclosure and so let's go ahead and put some trees around this guy I think that looks pretty good. And then I want to kind of put trees around the edge of this monorail. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks great. All right, and so I think I'm going to continue that with the trees on this side. And there we go. I'm thinking about putting some big rocks here. I think that would just be really cool if we did like a couple of really big rocks. Yeah, I think that looks great. Yeah, there you go, and then we will just grab some trees from the 
here. And there you go. It's kind of like a grand entrance almost. Trees right there. But that's good. It's on the other side of the. It's on the side of the monorail, and so this would just be really cool if you were like driving into this area and you saw those big rocks. It would just it would look really nice. And so we got our first little area going. And so this looks pretty good. Oh, nice. We got our next one for, I'm guessing, the amusement park. So Swinging Boat, House of Horrors, and Bumper Cars. I'm excited. So what are we going to do? We got some, some more preteen rides, definitely older. And so maybe we, we don't add it into this whole children's area. So we got bumper cars, which we could definitely do right here. I think we'll add in another one over there. And then the House of Horrors, Swinging Boat. So this would be like our first thrill ride. So I think if we went in over here and then we'll do another one right there. And then we'll do the House of Horrors right here too. Yeah, there you go. That looks great. And so let's go ahead... And I want to do, we'll do some crossovers. And then let's come up here. Oh, did that just ruin my whole circle? Wow. I don't know why I did that. I should have turned off collision, but you can um, set the game up to not delete things. But for some reason, it normally doesn't do that. I don't know why it did. And there we go, and there we go. And then I want to <clears throat> turn this into another little uh, area. And so we'll do two cafes, just because why not? And then we'll do souvenir shops. Should have these, I mean, spread out throughout the entire park. And there we go. We'll do a couple. Another little gaming section. Just kind of cap it off. And there we go. And then let's just go and add in some more restrooms on the inside. And then I'll do a couple of those plazas. Actually, you know what? We'll get rid of those bathrooms and do a couple of plazas. Yeah, there you go. That looks great. And so we've got a whole other area going. A little shopping center, and so... This whole area would just look really cool. So I want to kind of decorate this up. And since this would be more of like the preteen, getting older kind of area, I'll go with some colors. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And I want to switch it up. Maybe we'll go, we'll go one in the middle of each and then put some foliage in. And there you go. I think that looks pretty good. I like the little boat right over here. I like the little horrors. And so let's see if we can add in a couple more of these little pine trees. So let's go back to our zoo. And so we have the birdhouse, we have the reindeer enclosure, and now we just need to do... Fox and Rosa Hanks, the untold story of the invention of the fox, and the family dinosaur that nearly destroyed it. 
We'll go there. We want to kind of spread these out. Remember, this is going to be a big park, and so... And so now we got a nice little antelope enclosure. And I think this is already coming together pretty good. Let's go ahead and look at our monorail usage. Oh uh, yeah, I mean this is, so we got four monorails and it looks like this one is pretty popular. I think I'm gonna bump this up to six just because we really don't want people waiting. So this other direction we have I'll do six on this one too. I don't think we need it, but really don't want people waiting. And so another thing that I want to do is add in a mon or, or a metro metro area. And so what can we add in here? I think that looks pretty good. And so we'll make a pedestrian bridge across this, which we kind of need to do anyways. And so. And there we go. And so now people would be able to get from the, the metro. I'm planning on this having a lot of people, and so it would be fair to assume that it would be a really grand station like this. I just want to put some trees around it. Contain. I want something that's going to block. I mean, I think that would look good. Because we wouldn't want people inside the amusement park being distracted by this, and so it'd be fair to assume that. Yeah, I think that would be good. And then let's look at the line. I didn't really color any of these, so okay, so red, blue, green, teal, yellow. Do the red one the last one too. <coughs> no, it wasn't. So six. So two's probably good. We're gonna bump it up though. We'll do four. We'll do three. I think that's probably good. Two. Oh, we'll keep it. Now there is access from our train hub, tram hub, bus hub, and so anybody coming into the city can just take the metro over to our new area, and so that would just be really good and you can already see just a ton of people using this it's great right next to our main entrance to this and so that would just be fantastic we definitely added a ton of stuff we're just gonna have to wait for it to unlock but i want to continue doing our zoo over here and then we're gonna keep expanding this amusement park and i think our nature preserve is pretty good the way that it is but then our, our little boardwalk area looks great i think this came together really well with all the hotels and everything and then our monorail is working really good and it's just about getting getting more customers down here and then yeah, it looks like we need to probably place some warehouses and stuff and and so we'll definitely need to 
focus on some residential and maybe some more industrial as we expand. But I think for right now, let's go ahead and look at our tourism tab. And so, yeah, this, this looks pretty good. We got a lot of purple down here. Attractiveness, we got a lot of green, got a ton of green in there, a lot of green over here. I mean, this is turning green. And so we are at 74%. The goal is definitely to get us to 100%. If we could get 100% tourism, I think that would just be really cool. Um, I don't think I've ever... I've done a couple tourist cities in my time, but this is definitely the farthest I've ever taken a tourist town. And so I think this is definitely fun. Uh, 